Welcome to this lab. In this lab we're going to draw a circle. We will continually uh, building on top of the previous two methods on the same project that we have created in the previous video. So let's get going. I have here created the code already, the template. As I mentioned earlier, they have almost the same format. So we have the command method, specify the name, and then we have the, the public void method. Then we created our document object. We also instantiated our database object. And we used the using structure to create a transaction. We provided the try catch uh, code structure as well and then in here I just created uh, this uh, code based on the doc editor in the previous videos I created a separate uh, object for that like edt something like that doc.editor but you can actually do the same thing uh, using this one here instead of creating a new separate variable for that you can directly use the method so it's up to you those are just the options that I'm uh, sharing here so now we have only two uh, major uh, variables that we use in our code so this one we created the block table then we create the block table based on the the block table id and open mode is read and we have created a block table record based on the block table uh, object here in the model space open for write next we just have to specify now the the circles uh, parameters so the first one that we need is the center point so we can do that by using the point 3d let's say center point equals new point 3d let's uh, let's draw in a 100 100 x and y and 0 z next we have to create provide our radius so radius is is, is is a double uh, data type so let's create a circle radius equals let's say also 100 now let's uh, draw our circle let's use the using uh, construct circle let's, let's name it a circle equals new circle remember that in C sharp it is uh, case sensitive so whatever your the name of your variable you should follow the same thing unlike in other languages like the visual basic .NET for example it is uh, case insensitive so now that we have the circle variable let's provide the radius circle that radius equals our circle radius here circle rod and next where is the center point of the circle so circle that center equals center point next we can append into our block table record append entity then circle next add into our transaction our circle object add it yes or true then after that we can commit our transaction so that's about it same thing with the error we just display the whatever error message it might have and then we abort the transaction 
so this is good let us save this and rebuild the solution okay now we can open our AutoCAD and we can try this uh, new method All right, so let's load our plugin. Net load, draw objects, always load, and then type in our new command draw circle. Let's uh, zoom in, a uh, zoom extent. There is our circle. Let's find the ID, the center of the circle. Yeah, it's in the 100-100. Nice. So <coughs> we have now created uh, three commands from our plugin. In the next video, we will uh, draw an arc. Okay, I'll see you there.